The algebra for a question like this isn't that bad. You really do need to know how to do all of these steps in order to succeed on the harder module that comes later, but there are ways around dealing with all that algebra if you really need to. Let's start with the algebra though, right? So if we have four square root two x equals 16, Remember, our goal is to get the x alone, to isolate x. We don't have any exponents here, really. So our goal is to work our way towards that. So you just have to think about opposites, right? So the first thing we need to do is get this 4 out of here. So it's being multiplied uh, by the radical. So we're going to divide by the 4 to get rid of it. So that'll cross this out. And then we're left with the square root of 2x equals 4. Now, how do you undo a square root? Well, that just involves squaring something, right? So we can square the radical 2x, but we're gonna have to square the four along with it to balance things out. So 2x is equal to 16. And then we've got one last step to get x alone. We divide and we get that x is equal to eight. Now that is not an answer, which I'm surprised by, but the reason it's not an answer is that's not what they want, right? They want the value of 6x. So we just need to multiply our x by 6. And so that's just 48. No need for a calculator there. So that is the final answer. This is not very complicated algebra. I would still be doing it on my scratch paper because I'm afraid of making a mistake. And I don't know where these other answers come from, but it's conceivable that if I make whatever mistake uh, the SAT is kind of setting me up to make, I will get an answer that is wrong and have no idea. So do the scratch paper to play it safe. But if you did not know how to do this algebra, if you were worried about doing it, or if you just want to check your work, remember you can put things into Desmos and it's going to do a lot of the work for you. So if I put in 4 square root 2x, I will get a curve. And that's because it's a radical, so it's going to have a, a curved shape. Uh, then what a lot of you will do is like set basically another thing equal to 16. So you could just do uh, y equals 16 and think about the point of intersection and notice that the x value at that point of intersection is eight, which is exactly what we found it to be, right? So this is one way of dealing with situations like this, but uh, you've probably seen me do this before. Remember, we don't need to even separate these two pieces. We can let Desmos deal with it as is. We just need to put them all in one line as it's given to us. So let's just put the equals here and watch what happens to our graph when we do that. We lose the curve and it becomes a straight vertical line and that is our solution. And we can see that that is at eight, right? Now I'm trying to tap it, but it's not working. And that's because uh, when you have radical the Desmos calculator for whatever reason uh, doesn't really kind of like let you, I guess, get the exact value, but it's so obvious that it's eight. I mean, we could zoom in here and we can really see that, okay, it's going through eight. There's always a chance it's like 8.0001 or something, but like, obviously that's not going to happen on the SAT and we could keep zooming and even get that level of clarity and see, no, it's just straight up eight. But that is one thing that I would be worried about using this method of Desmos is that if, if choice, let's say E were eight, we might be more tempted to pick that because we're letting the calculator do all the work. So we don't bother checking to make sure that we did all the work that the question is asking for. So the SAT loves to do this move where they ask us for something that is slightly different from what we would expect, you know, what our teachers would ask us for in school. So you've got to get in this habit of always going back to the question, double checking, you're giving them the right thing and then picking the answer. It doesn't really matter here, but it's a very common trap that they'll give us a choice that is the value of X when they ask for something like 6x. So you have to make sure you don't waste points on stuff like that.